So welcome to the USS Missouri here in Pearl Harbor. It's gonna be a historic day. All right, so if you're wondering where I'm at today, I am at Pearl Harbor. Tomorrow is the 76th anniversary uh, of the bombing of Pearl Harbor. And today we're gonna go check out this some warship called the Missouri. And I get a private tour today with my buddy Frank. He's gonna give me lots of information and a really cool private tour of this uh, war memorial, right? Yes, sir. So we were in a restricted area, so I feel so cool right now. Making me feel like a superstar over here, Frank. Oh yeah, VIP yeah, treatment. <laughs> so here's a typical set you would expect at Pearl Harbor. Is you see that little building over there because there's actually a ship, the uh, USS Arizona, that's at the bottom that you can actually view from the very top. That's a typical site, and we're gonna do the not so typical site, which is this thing. Frank was very cool and put me all the way to the end of the pier, which gives you this amazing perspective on how big the ship actually is. The 16 inch guns, uh, huge fireball comes out of each barrel. Check it out if you're looking for uh, how to do navy knots. This is navy knots. All right. This is cool. Welcome back to 1942. Everything here is uh, original. So we are in the gun room for the left gun of turret number one on the battleship Missouri. So we get to hang out with Toby, who was actually on here in 1950. 1953 to 55. Mm -hmm. right. So the captain's cabin, of course. You probably noticed uh, how beautiful it is. As you all know, on our way to uh, Bremerton to decommission the ship, stopped by Long Beach, California. The highlight of my career, I can say that, because Marilyn Monroe came board. I even time it, it was some 17 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is where World War II ended on the morning of September 2nd, 1945. We're conducting this ceremony right in the middle of the Japanese heartland. A very important place of world history for everyone. So this is exactly where the documents were signed uh, to end the war. And there's a plaque now. You gotta watch your head in these places because it's very low. No, just watch your step on this one. Just... All inclusive with your uh, Missouri trip experience is uh, free exercise up and downstairs. Wow, this is kind of cramped. I don't know if I'd like to be a sailor because it is hard living here. And what do you know? There's a post office here. All right. I'd like to ship some mail. Time to open the door to the outside. Ugh. All right, Frank, thanks for the tour, and I learned a lot, and I hope you guys did too. And if you have an opportunity, be sure to visit this one because it's pretty historic. So, thank you, my friend. Hello, thanks, Alex. Uh, on to the next destination. All right, so welcome to the palace, and this is actually where uh, the rulers of the Kingdom of Hawaii uh, used to live. It's just the architecture and the way it looks is pretty unique. Uh, I haven't seen anything like this in Hawaii. Historic, cultural, all of the above. So check it out, navigating this island is super easy. Well, basically, just type it into uh, the online maps. Don't let navigation or language stop you from coming here. Well, anything you want to see, it's uh, within an hour's drive, if not half hour drive. No excuse not to come by here and check it out. And now I'm going to head over to my last location I'm going to be able to visit here in Oahu. I'm not really too familiar with it, but the pictures look really cool, so I'm going to I'm gonna go check it out. Welcome to the Valley of Temples. I think you can ring this if you want to. Oh, we can even hear it. Let's do this. That's cool. Also, please don't pick the flowers. That's very understandable. There's even some koi here in the pond. Oh, they think I have food, so they're coming at me. You know, overall, this is a cute little hidden gem, I have to say, here in Oahu. I never expected to find this. And for five bucks, you can't go wrong. Save yourself a trip to Japan and uh, come on by to the Valley of Temples. <laughs> so what I'm running is because, look at the sunset behind me, and I'm trying to fly the drone before the uh, sun goes off. Gotta go! So I figured I'd try some typical Hawaiian food, and uh, today we're here at this place. Let's see what they have. We're having dinner alone kind of sucks. Uh, it's a sacrifice you gotta make when you travel. Okay, hey, welcome to 
welcome to your typical Hawaiian meal. We have uh, starch over here, they usually eat that instead of rice. It's a nice little coconut dessert. Pork, short ribs, we got pork, we got rice. So that is your typical Hawaiian meal. That pork is really good. Uh, starch is interesting. And that was the last destination here in Oahu and Hawaii for me. I'm actually headed to the airport as we speak. So thank you so much for joining me for this video series. Hope you saw a lot of wonderful and great sights. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks to Hawaii Tourism USA for sponsoring this video. To plan your own trip to Oahu, check the description below.